As tensions rise in North Korea, we're seeing parallels with another global hotspot, Syria. This is a tale of two dictators, Syria's Bashar al-Assad and North Korea's Kim Jong-un. Though they are on opposite sides of the world, their regimes share some striking similarities. Both leaders inherited their jobs from their fathers. Their family dynasties have ruled countries of roughly similar size and population for decades, running police states that use brute force to crush dissent. But look at this. The North Korean and Syrian governments really like each other. Every year, their governments send each other many messages of solidarity and support. Here's KCNA congratulating the, quote, friendly Syrian government. Just over a week later, Sanaa spoke of Syria's support to the, quote, brave leadership of North Korea. In fact, these regimes have been friendly for decades. The Syrian president's father, Hafez al-Assad, met with the North Korean leader's grandfather, Kim Il-sung, in the 1970s. And they've developed military-to-military -military relations ever since they were both client states of the Soviet Union. North Korea helped a lot uh, to the Syrian Republican Army uh, to develop um, certain aircraft and air missile uh, systems. They also uh, fixed and repaired the old Soviet tanks like T-54 and T-55, uh, which Syrian army would um, import from the Soviet Union. Fast forward to today, when both of these countries still depend heavily on the patronage of much larger allies. Syria gets weapons and direct military support from Russia, while North Korea depends on China for more than 80% of its international trade. And North Korea and Syria share another similarity. They're both in confrontation with the U.S. We can see that these both regimes are pariah states. They're both regimes are uh, in open confrontation with the United States. The, and the new sheriff is in town, uh, which makes their life much more difficult. The Trump administration is trying to put a stop to Syria's alleged use of chemical weapons and North Korea's very active nuclear weapons program. First, by trying to convince Moscow and Beijing to each abandon Syria and North Korea. Second, by leading international efforts to isolate these regimes through sanctions. And finally, with the threat of military action, including last week's cruise missile attacks on a Syrian airbase and the deployment of an aircraft carrier strike group to the Korean Peninsula. Two dictators on opposite sides of the world in a high-stakes game of brinksmanship with the United States.